Hello. My name is Eric Raff, and I'm from Kentucky. I am deaf, and I was raised in a mainstream program. But when I went to Gallaudet University, I totally immersed myself in the deaf community. I was able to graduate in accounting, and I worked in that field for three years. But I realized I missed the interaction with the deaf community. So when the opportunity came up for me to be a case manager, I decided to switch careers. And I worked in that field for 20 years. But today, my title is Deputy Director, and I support Ron Lanier, who is the director. And I am responsible for supervising all of the programs of VDDHH, such as the relay program, the equipment distribution program, providing one-on-one -on -one training, and also providing the quality screening that we do for sign language interpreters. VDDHH also provides information and referral, education, training, and outreach. They coordinate interpreter service and CART services for state agencies and the courts. I joined last May, and since working there, I've noticed that there are many challenges that VDDHH faces. For the last 20 years, we've been pretty stable, and there have been budget and staff reductions. Most of the 11 staff there now have worked there for many years, and approximately half of them will be retiring within the next five years. But I'm excited that there are many opportunities and possibilities that I bring as an outsider with my 20 years of experience, looking for ways to improve present services and looking for ways to expand VDDHH with new programs and services. But one thing that I've learned is that we need to improve individuals' lives. We need to be able to improve governmental organizations and systems and to partner with them better. We first need to recognize how we can do that regardless of who we are, whether we're deaf, hard of hearing, deafblind, or late deafened. We need to figure out a way to come together and work together as a team to promote change. I recognize that there are many needs out there within the communities. And I want the opportunity to be able to meet with you, to talk with you, to learn from you what it is that we need to prioritize. We need to be able to partner with our hearing allies, such as family, friends, neighbors, colleagues, interpreters, educators of the deaf, and managers, in order to promote legislative change. Remember, I'm only one person. And I, there are nine full-time staff and two part-time staff that we work with to cover the entire Commonwealth of Virginia. VDDHH cannot do it alone. We need you involved, and you can become involved if you want to join the advisory board or be a part of the Virginia Association of the Deaf or the Virginia Association of the Deaf Blind or Late Deafened Adult Association, joining their local chapters and their local organizations. Remember that for system change to happen, it won't happen overnight. It will take several years and require a team effort. From now and in the future, I look forward to meeting you, and I hope that we can work together to improve our lives.